Hey everyone, and welcome back to At The Table, the show that asks you to pull out your chairs, get your TTRPG books, and join us at the table. Today we're going to be talking about creating magical items. But before we go into that, let's do a quick round of introductions. Mr. Michael Powell, tell them who you are and where we can find you on that sweet, sweet internet. Well, I'm Michael Powell, and you can find me on my social medias, which is at Mr. Kapow. That's M-R-K-A-P-A-O. And what about you, PJ? My name is PJ McGaw. You can find me everywhere at PJ.McGaw. And without further ado, I hope your chairs are pulled out. I hope your books are ready. Got your pencils and your thinking caps on because we're going to create a magical item for the world of Edge of Legend. See you then. Let's get to it. doing some Mm. item creation with you right now um now of course the hardest thing to start about with creating a magic item is what kind of magic item do you want um we could do all kinds of things we could create an animal companion item uh because there's only four that we talked about in the entire core rule book and they're nice Mm -hmm. they are but we saw so many uh, amazing items for a player's natural armor for a player's natural weapon one of the things I'm going to pitch out there, and of course we can create this later, or completely not do it, is a magical item that, say, goes around the paw or neck of the creature and enhances maybe its damage or enhances maybe its armor class. I don't know. That's one idea. Yeah. If you guys would rather create a necklace that uh, makes it so you don't have to breathe anymore, you know, you could make um, shoes that let you, I don't know, Kick babies farther away from you. That's a horrible... Look, I'm not... Look, here at Nat 20 PJ, Productions, PJ. Official, we do not condone <laughs> kicking babies. Unless it's hilarious and it's on YouTube. That's uh-huh. different. That's very different. Also, I just want to say, I just realized us making items and possibly dropping it into the Edge of Legend world is essentially what they do in the Hunger Games when they drop items to help the contestants of the Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. And here's a magical fiery sword. Also, Sydney of High Towers just told me that they're going to clip me saying, we at Nat 20 Productions Official do not condone kicking babies. After Ray, talking about kicking babies. How about a baby kicking ring? A ring of baby kicking. Okay, okay, okay. You have my attention, Wither King. How does this work? That's a very... Very situational magic item. A very specifical <laughs> situational weapon. Like, maybe... Okay, so... Oh, man. Oh. Ru- run with me. Run with me on this. So, you know how in certain game editions there's an ability called, like, like was it like Revenge of the Small or, like, Violence of the Small? Basically, it's like if you are a goblin or a small creature, you get bonus damage to big guys because you're so angry and you're so small. What if we inverted that? What if we made an item that made you do more damage to small creatures? PJ, you you opened up a can of worms. We got, let's see, Wither King saying, how about a baby kicking ring? Mr. Mihara. uh, Oh, oh, not not Mr. Mihara. uh, Was it Beamer SRQ? Goblin babies for them to practice being very bouncy. Beardus Gold. How many b- babies fit in a bag of holding? Supply versus kicks. Do you, look, I'm just saying, this baby, idea is taking yeah. off. Wither, Wither King, the baby kicking ring can power leg kick babies. <laughs> Real babies. You oh open up a bag of baby <laughs> kicking. I open up a bag of holding of, of baby kicking, and I'm okay with that. Now, again. Remember, again, this is going to be on YouTube forever. Remember, for we at Nat, ever. Remember, we at Nat 20 Productions do not condone baby kicking, but if it is a YouTube link, send it my way. I could watch that all day. Um, forever. Paul, but I'll slap your kid. I don't get an F about your kid. Um, uh, that's, a, that's a reference and a quote, by the way, not on me. I, I am quoting another show. Uh, we got so, Wicked King saying, capable, capable, okay, hitting goal with even the strongest baby gods. Do you have a god of babies? No. Well, not babies. I have a god of mothers. That's different. You need to create, you need to create a god of babies now. I don't want to. That's going to get so weird. <laughs> um all right, so, so um, chat, you grand designers of fate, 
you grand watchers from afar on the moon, judge us and slowly guide us with your wisdom. Shall we create this regrettable magical item of baby punting? Or should we, and I'm just putting this out there, make dear God anything else? You decide, chat. We're here to make it along with you. I would say a baby is one bulk, so it depends on how much bag space you have. Malice, I love you. What is what has this chat become? I can't believe you've done this. God of making babies is Lamash too, regretfully. That's true. The God of making babies is Lamash too. However, their babies are a bit um, uh, unscrupulous, to put it politely. This is what my life has become. You're welcome. You're welcome to the to the madness. Grab As, a club. Yes, yeah, everyone high else. Power. Face palm is needed. Mm -hmm. That's look, what I just did. Look, I was just ha I was just having fun and being silly. I did not anticipate the sheer wave of of baby pugilism that was to arrive. I you know I I just wanted to surf surf the waves, not be crushed by it. <sighs> All right, we're, I can't believe, so we're creating an item that I, I don't know. That's, that that I, goes to kicking babies. I feel like at this point, I'm going to need chat to say in all caps, definitively, we are creating a magical item of kicking babies. Now, what I will put my foot down, ironically, and say is that when we make this item, it will not be for kicking infants. That is hilarious and not nice yeah i don't want to drop that into the world vj so i do not want to role play that in edge of legend i well first of all i mean that's a huge x card right there but i was gonna say if we make an item i feel that does bonus damage or bonus hit or whatever for a smaller creature i think we can work with that like for example let's say you are a i don't know monk paladin wizard whatever and you're in the fey Right? Or in our world, the fail of a name. And you're there, and then a bunch of pixies show up. Sprites, brownies, boggarts, right? These tiny little sons of B-words that are really hard to hit because they're so small, right? And I believe in Pathfinder First Edition, they used to give you AC bonuses for being so small, but of course you got like, had like no HP. So this item this magical item would make sure that their size their diminutive size would not give them as much of a benefit against you so maybe we make an item that instead of giving you more power for hitting a guy bigger than you gives you more power for hitting someone smaller than you and now i feel awful for saying that out loud yeah. god bless you know uh, what i have the perfect name for this i have the perfect name of the, for this the bully the boots of bullying yeah that's what i was thinking or the bully boots the bully boots a a belt of dwarf tossing i don't know that's politically correct anymore malice but no I, I see you i see you maynard's calling it the pick on someone less than your size beard and scald said i checked the weights to bulk levels babies are light bulk Oh no. What have I done? All right. All right. So this is going to become my legacy. This is going to become my part of my legacy. Let's make this bad boy and then bury it away. Um let's take the, if we make this fast enough, we might be able to make the magical item for a certain badger. Um <laughs> Mr. Mehara said sorry, had to migrate from my phone to the computer. You missed something, Mr. Mehara. You missed something truly awful and wonderful at the same time. Well, you're technically okay because you just returned to the awfulness. Yeah. How many babies can a rat folk fit in its mouth with all the <sighs> cheek pouch feats? Oh, that's oh, that's a good question. Um, I think they can store like three to five light bulk. They can shove three to five babies in their mouth. I, if, if, I'm, if I'm remembering the light bulk correctly, which I'm probably not, they can shove three whole babies in their mouth. <laughs> Why? I love this. You know what? Hey, it's, it, my birthday has come a month early. I will, I will take that. All right. So um, I'm going to start writing this bad boy down. We're going to make it very quickly, and then we're going to never use it again. Let's call it, uh, do you want to call it the ring of the bully? What slot? No, uh, I, I was saying uh, the boots of the bully boots. 
The bully boots? Because okay. we're talking about kicking babies. That's what you wear no. to kick babies. <laughs> you, are you speaking from experience, Michael? <laughs> well, Apparently. You know, I, so listen, I'd love to come to Edge of Legend, guys, but I just don't have my bull, I don't have my baby kicking boots on. And as you know, I cannot play this game if I'm not wearing the boots I use to kick babies. Don't put this evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I hope you have a son, a handsome masculine child, and I hope he goes through what I'm going through right now. All right. Uh, so the, the bully boots and the flavor text. Oh, God, the flavor text. Oh, uh, Wither King po uh, posted, I'm regretful we w went down this train, but the memes were too good. You know what? Let's do that. Let's enjoy the memes. Let's live in the memes. It's like moments, but with meme in there. Let's live in the memes. Uh, so, <laughs> baby kicking boots are evil aligns? What if I'm they're sorry, neutral? I just saw what, something that Mater posted. <laughs> Michael's got a John Wick in retirement case in, oh, got a John Wick in retirement case in his basement, filled with baby kicking boots. All right, now I'm just imagining, like, John Wick, but instead of shooting people, he just throws a bunch of, like, leg kicks, and you see babies flying, like, patoom, patoom, patoom. All right, all right. All right, all right. I, I all think right. Wither King, though, posted, the baby kicking boots have to be evil aligned. I feel, no, to attune no. this item, you have to be at least... No, no, he wasn't saying they have to be. He's asking if it is evil aligned. Oh. No, no, no. I'm making this neutral. I'm, I'm leaving you as a human being to do what human beings do best and make their own moral choices, whether it's for good or bad. Sometimes you have to make the mistake. Sometimes you have to give your heart to the dark side. Sometimes you have to take a shot and hope that it lands in success. Sometimes you got to strap on your bully boots and just sidekick a child. Maynard posted, John Wick is Baba Yaga. Michael is Baby Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i love these memes michael i can see it now like there's a bunch of guy going around going like i saw him you know like kill 300 babies with a boot and a pencil i saw Who him does that kick a baby entire football length <laughs> football field length <laughs> okay the bully boots so we're not going to call it babies for the sake of everyone else's yes sanity, please we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna refer to it as a target creature one size smaller than you Mm -hmm. Which can be a baby. So, Not really that it PJ, is, reverse mm -hmm. Titan Wrestler. Yes, very much so. Because like Toddler saying, Wrestler. Oh God, no! <laughs> well, I do, you open I mean, this this can of worms, PJ. You cannot regret it at this point. <laughs> Hey, I did not say let's create a feat that gives you bonuses for wrestling smaller people. I'm pretty sure that's just called being. I'm gonna have and to create a graphic for this, a thumbnail for this man. Oh, I am loving these these memes. You guys in the chat, you're just you're being delicious this evening. Look at this, uh, in Bartok voice. And then I kick her, sir. Uh, now we have to make items for this. Baby kicking boots are really a morality test. They don't actually harm the baby, but we want to know if you wanted to. I saw him, I saw him punt legions of children with his pinky toe. Is the god that made the boots that's doing the testing of good, or goodness, evil, or chaos? Because the baby could still get punted depending on what they wanted. Uh, a pixie wrestler. Now, see, I like the idea of a wrestler who is a pixie wrestling bigger people. But my thought is the bully boots would give you a bonus to hit, um, a bonus to hit creatures size one category or smaller. Probably not go too far because they're like minuscule. It, it would be broken to be like I get a plus three to hit you. Why? I only have one HP. I'm an asshole. Ah, stop. So what um, would be the bonus to? The opposite of Titan Wrestler, because Titan Wrestler itself is a feat that allows you to grapple uh, a ca uh, character that's a one size, up to one or two size larger than you. So, so the feat that would be opposite of Titan Grappler is called just being strong. The way the rules are written for grappling, you have to be a certain size difference to even be able to grapple them. And then, of course, if you're going to pin them for them, whatever, that's another size difference. So the fact that you're already bigger, taller, and stronger than someone kind of already gives you the edge. 
And by nature of their own mechanics being smaller and weaker, that person's gonna have a harder time flipping you. You really don't need to make an anti-Titan grappler feat um, because it already kind of exists in the rules. Um, Beam, Beamer SRQ posted, as a smaller person, I was quite agile, so was difficult to actually catch. Does that mean this will be a pl basically just a flat bonus to hit? Maybe. Yeah, yeah that's my thought. Um, because like I was saying, in, in the older games, when you're smaller, you tend to have a better AC because you're harder to hit, you're harder to see. So my thought was, if you're aware of the target, this could be the caveat, if you are aware of the target's presence uh, and you can see them or you can interact with them in combat, you, um, you get a bonus to hitting them, right? So we have to figure out what that bonus would be. Do we want it to be a flat bonus, so this is a flat magical item, or do we want to make the greater bully boots and then provide greater yeah. benefits to... Oh, God, no! <laughs> <laughs> I, we do not need a greater boot of baby kicking. Oh, okay, okay. So we're not going to have the greater... I don't want to go boot. down that route, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, so, oh, but, okay, okay. Bearded Skull, Ian posted something as kind of a redeeming thing for this. Wait, what if you get pluses to hit if your target tries to intimidate you? Anti-bully boots. Um, Adam Generator, thank you for hopping in the chat. Yes, indeed, Adam Generator. We are creating homebrew magic items. Uh, these magical items that we create together will show up in the Edge of Legend Pathfinder 2nd Edition homebrew show that we have Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We already had about an hour, hour and a half of covering all the other really cool magical items in the Pathfinder Core cool Rulebook. And throughout the whole month of November, we're gonna be talking about really cool magical items, magical weapons, character builds, the whole thing. So right now, you have unfortunately stumbled into us trying to figure out how to make a <laughs> magical shoe of punting babies. Now, what I will state for the record is that this item will not be designed for punting babies. What this item will be designed, as we agreed upon from the chat, is that this is an item that gives you benefits to attacking a creature smaller than you. And by that, I mean certain creatures get bonuses to their AC because of their diminutive size. Dishonor so, on my house. <laughs> <laughs> dishonor on your cow. Uh, so this item is there to kind of help you in times when you're fighting, say, a pixie, a sprite, a brownie. Um, this way, like, if you're, if you're a medium-sized creature and they're tiny, you're going to get a benefit or a bonus to try and attack them. I just, we're, yeah. we're working out the mechanics now. Uh, we got Wither King posting, uh, make a unarmored, a unarmed strike and the damage translates into punting power, but you're immu immune to the fall damage and initial damage of this kick. Okay. So, which I, I'm guessing translates into, God, I can't believe I'm saying this. You run up, you kick the baby. They don't take damage from the kick, but you get the distance. Okay. Oh, good God. Let's take that South Park. Kick the baby. Now we'll kick, kick the that baby. baby. <laughs> okay, so the flavor text I put so far is just because they're little doesn't mean you go easy on them. Um, uh, yeah, so I like the idea of this being, um, you know what, let's, let's do a few things. Let's give it a bonus to athletics. And let's give it a bonus to hit. We don't need to do bonus to damage. They already have such little HP as it is. Mm -hmm. So let's do maybe... <laughs> we got Adam, Adam Generator posting, maybe make it that if the smaller creature is cute, you get a better bonus. Oh, that's just cruel. I mean, granted, like, I would, I would, I would kick a Porg from Star Wars, but that's just because I'm, I don't like Porgs. Um, I mean, they're delicious. <laughs> they are. Well, I can imagine they taste like quail, and quail is delicious. Yeah. So let's, let's do this. I'm going to give, um, let's see, when worn, this item gives plus, what should we say, plus three to athletics? I would say maybe, you know what, I, this is, I would say plus oh. one, because if we make this anything higher, like, I'm just imagining, this is a very, very specific instance where a Wizard decides to craft a magic item, item for this exact reason, and I don't want to think about a world like that. <laughs> um, hey, maybe he's sick and tired of goblins invading his town. 
Maybe he's sick and tired of pixies attacking him in, uh, in his sleep. You know, maybe, maybe he's got a swarm of rats and he's trying to get rid of them. There's, there's non horror The God movies. of Lawns. I can just the, God. the God of Lawns. Like, get off my lawns, you damn kids. Boot. Um, so Maynard asked a very good question. What level is this intended to be given at? Penguin Witch Doctor made a very good uh, first guess in saying a level three item. I'm down for a level three item as well. Should we make this a level three item? That will kind of inform yeah. us on the bonuses yeah. and how to employ it. Uh, see, Adam Generator is asking, are you using the template PF2 tools? That is really awesome. And I wish we were. No, we are using our own silliness and ingenuity and understanding of the system. So really oh. the whole point here is to kind of brainstorm. I, I like this flavor that uh, Wither King just posted. No, the twist is goblins made it to kick pixies, but it was then used against them. I like that idea. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Wither King, thank you so much. That is now canonical because that is something a goblin would do. So much what a goblin would do. And thank you for making us feel less horrible. <laughs> Hey, look, I was the one that stated we weren't kicking actual babies. We were just kicking creatures one size smaller than you. But if it makes you feel better, then by all means, feel better. All right, so it's an item level three, which is awesome, and it makes sense. I believe it was, um, yeah, Penguin Witch Doctor that continued to say level three is when you can probably get Titan Grappler anyway. Yeah. So it, it really does kind of feed the, the spectrum there. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. To kind of erase that a bit. So let's see. What do you all think would be a good bonus for a third level item? Would you say a plus two bonus to athletics checks as well as a um, a plus one to hit? Does that sound I, pretty good? I would say I still I still on plus one, because especially as a level three item, a plus two just ooh sounds a little op. I mean, a plus two to athletics checks. I don't know. There's a lot of feats that give that at level three. Yeah, but we're also going to be adding other stuff to it. Other stuff we're probably going to end up regretting. Well, we're not going to be adding too much more than this. It is, after all, an item, a level three item that you wear. I think if we make it like a, a plus, like a plus whatever size bonus or a plus whatever status bonus, we can probably get away with that. Well, I, I, I still feel plus one plus the extra ability, that's pretty balanced as a level three item. You know, I think I think you're right, Michael. I now that I'm thinking about it, stacking on stacking on stacking, you make a good point. And Adam Generator also um, makes a really good point about uh, a plus one bonus to athletics checks made by a shove. Because uh, mm -hmm. I was thinking, a plus the plus to athletics would be to you know grapple it, punt it, whatever we want to call call it. And we can say that there maybe is like a very low DC um, fortitude save to be knocked back five or ten feet and knocked prone inherent to the boot so like we're magically knocking them back yeah and like i said um i would say this would be a okay um like a force like a magic missile that's a is that a invoker spell or is that a something else an invoker spell uh yeah uh when it comes to types of magic schools of magic oh you mean evocation evocation um... yeah I don't remember. I think it's evocation, but it's like if conjuring, no, not uh, conjuring, uh, something else. Well, you know what? Anyone in the chat who knows what type, what school of magic, magic missile comes from, please let us know. Uh, it's it is it's evocative. Yes, it is evocation magic. You're yeah, okay. right. Okay. So, yeah, it'll be a, this will be a uh, ev evocation uh, from the evocation school when it comes to craft magic items. Okay. Uh, yeah, force. I can say that. Yeah. Oh, we got Adam Generators posting on a shove against a smaller creature, and, and you don't have, you don't need a, uh, you don't need a hand for you to shove them. I like that. I like that. I think it's also a good point because if you're wielding a two-handed weapon, you don't want to have to let go of your weapon to shove. You can literally just Sparta kick them. Yeah, that, that's what exactly what I'm envisioning now. And from what we were talking about before, ooh, this made me feel a little bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, and, and I can't stress this enough, if you want to use this at your table to punt babies, that is your choice. We at Nat20 Productions, and I'll say this for the fourth time, do not condone baby kicking. However, it's a YouTube link sent in my way. I find that hilarious. Uh, let's see. Um, da -da -da. And this, I would say, this is a ability, like, if you have to talk about weapon damage type or whatever, 
this is a force ability. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's not going to do damage, so I don't believe that's going to be a factor. But, it, but, I, yeah. but I do see that, yeah. Because the damage being done, I think, maybe could be magical damage for damage resistance, but I don't believe it actually giving added damage typing. I think it's, yeah. too, it's too young of a weapon or too young of an item for that at level three. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And Adam Generator, here I'm put, here's the link to our Discord. For everybody in chat, that's the link to our Discord. Which now I... Oh, God. This is what we're going to be talking about on our, our Discord for the next week. Hey, I'm okay. If you guys want to talk about this for next week, do so. Next week on At the Table, next Tuesday, we're going to be talking about magical weapons and things like that. And that may be the better time because we're starting to run out of time right now. That might be the time to discuss maybe making magical items for a certain badger. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just about to finish up the Bully Boots, the item level three that we that we have ruefully made and then next week after we discuss runes and weapons and armor we can then talk about really cool weapons uh really cool magical items to give to pets because uh, oh, there's only so many and they yeah. kind of help mobility and that's about it which is good but don't you want a bit more bang for your buck um wither king posted i still think we maximize distance and for that we need to minimize distance <laughs> yeah so like instead of 10 feet make them knock back five yeah Oh, God. Bearded Skull did the math. A bag of holding only holds 8.3 goblins. That's a huge town, uh, town turn from babies. Yeah. Just not enough babies to store in that bag of holding. Oh, God. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, let's see here. Do -do 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 -do. Now time to talk about all the things that I have to write, and I'm so slow to write, because I'm constantly reading the chat, because y'all are hilarious. Oh, uh, Bearded Skull says, wait, do goblins spiral like footballs? I mean, they have football heads. <laughs> they do, but then they have those really awkward, gangly limbs. It's I a feel wobbly like they... spiral. I feel like it's more like, you know those those balls we used to have as kids, like the, the rubber balls with the streamers coming off of it? I feel like it's go like that like it'd be top heavy with a bunch of streamers aka limbs yeah whatever whatever happens when you toss mike wazowski that's a goblin yeah. and i'm just thinking the hey Ar the anime series hey arnold mm -hmm. let's see all right see. so distance wise would it be a what how, what's the maximum and minim minimum damage uh distance that would be uh, that's a good point. I I kind of like the idea of a flat distance because it is a yeah. magical item, so it would magically confirm the same distance every time. Um, we could do five. We could do ten. I think if we did fifteen or twenty, it just it, that's it'd a little just too much. Si yeah, it would be silly. Uh, five would be good because it allows you to be more cautious with your mm -hmm. tactics. Ten is good because it gives you more flexibility, like space wise. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Chet. What do you think? Do you want to punt a pixie five feet, or do you want to punt them ten? You know what? Now, at this point, we're talking about distance-wise. That's how we could um, separate uh, regular, great, uh, lesser, and greater. Maybe lesser, ten feet. Uh, greater, twenty feet. Maybe, That's maybe we can even give, and maybe we can give them a slight bonus. So, like, and I think the shove, greater... shove is a good idea. That, that's a that's a good action to give it. Shove. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I I know uh, Adam. Uh, Adam Generator brought that up, so I think that's great. Um, see you later, Adam Generator. Just saw that you have to go. Great to have you in. You turn madness into just chaos as opposed to just madness. So thank you so much for helping me try to wrangle these amazing bag of cats that are these truly legends in the chat today. Um, so yeah, fortune. I, I have a, as a fortune bonus. The idea is this can stack with other things if you have uh, on, because why, why not? So it's a plus one fortune bonus to so athletics checks made to uh, shove... Um, I would even say grapple yeah. or move. I would say I would say just shove, and also the the selling point of this item, honestly, would be you could shove someone even if both your hands are currently full with something, you know? Mm -hmm. Because you're literally just shoving them with your foot. Yeah, you are literally Sparta keep kicking them. Yeah, um, and I and I'm loving. I'm seeing the Discord already. Everyone's blowing up about like 
the math of babies. Uh, yeah. Let's... No, I'm, I'm, now I'm, I'm in my serious let's build mode now. Yep. This will be uh, a shove distance uh, item. Plus one athletics, and then honestly, like I said. So what I, what I have so far, just before we get off on this yeah. tangent, I want to tell you what we already have. So if we need to change okay. it or whatever. So we have a plus one, uh, plus one fortune bonus, and I can change it to status bonus. I just think fortune's better for stacking. Mm -hmm. A plus one fortune bonus to athletic checks made to shove, and a plus one bonus to hit a targeted creature one size uh, smaller than you. Um, because the idea, because the, the flavor I put in here is, um, this was invented by goblins to punish and shoo away pixies. The great irony being when larger enemies started using them, using these, boot, these boots against goblins for the same reason. These brown leather boots with heavy reinforced soles, when worn, will grant the user a plus one fortune bonus to athletic checks made to shove and a plus one uh, bonus to hit a target, uh, targeted creature one size smaller. One size smaller or more, I'll say. Uh, cause I think at the end, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. Honestly, this is actually like in all seriousness, all seriousness, this is actually a great item to give to a fighter or monk or a barbarian. Mm -hmm. Shove is such a great action ability. <laughs> hey, Pengu Chan, welcome to the chat. Yeah. We're talking about magical items. We're creating a very silly magical item. Um, and we're almost a regretful magical item. Hey, listen, it started off as a meme, and I tried everything in my power to make it about kicking goblins and not babies, and, I, and we finally got there. Let me Stop saying that! We're going to get flagged! <laughs> hey, hey, look, I didn't mark this show as child safe, so there's that. Um, let's see here. Uh, blah, 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 made a shove. Uh, plus one to hit. There was something else. Oh, and they have to confirm a, um, a fortitude save or be knocked back some distance. Let's say five feet for now, and we'll add the greater... Tag yeah. on after that. Um, oh, so you're saying uh, it'll be five feet instead of ten feet? Uh, five feet at this level, at level three, and then like at level eight, we can make it ten feet. I kind of disagree on that there. I want to say, just for that little oomph, ten mm -hmm. feet. Ten feet, because that's two squares, mm -hmm. and then the greater version is just double that. I don't know. Well, uh, okay. Or at so, least, or 15 feet is a greater so, version. So, so pause on that really fast. There is a feat that monks get called one inch punch, mm -hmm. and it can take on between one and three actions. And this is in the advanced player's guide. And it will basically act as like taking all your attacks into one powerful hit so that yeah. you can, you know, kind of bypass DR and stuff. But the big thing to take away from one inch punch is that they also have to confirm a check against being knocked back. And the distance they are knocked back is equal to how many actions you put in the one-inch punch, up to 30 feet. You can punch them 30 feet away. That's insane. But that's also at, I want to say it's at like a six-level feet. I have to check the book. But So I think what we have to ask ourselves here is that's an attack that does damage, that is a massive crowd control thing for a monk. Do we want to go absurd to punt a goblin 30 feet? Or do we want to go a little smaller and magically kick them 10? Like, where, where I, do we want to go? I'm saying the fact that at, at third level, 10 is a good ability. And then at a higher level, 20 is good. It also doesn't take away from the one-inch punch as well as this. Like I said, this is a, this is a magical item. This is not something everybody has. True. You know, let me look. This might actually make this easier. I want to see. Okay, so this boot already gives um, a plus one bonus to shoving a creature smaller than you. The, sh the shove action on a regular success pushes them back five feet. On a critical, it can do 10 feet, and you can stride after it if you wish to. So if, if they're already shoving them five to 10 feet, then I think... As insane as it sounds to me, if we want this to be magical and a little supernatural, then we may have to go up to like 30 feet. So maybe what we can say is um, once, you, once you succeed on a shove check, they have to make a fortitude save. If they succeed the fortitude save, they're still knocked back 5 to 10 feet, as is the shove rules. But if they fail the fortitude, 
they're knocked back 30 flat. It's insane, but it's, I guess it could, it's meant to be. How do you feel, Michael? Um, you know what? I want to give this to the chat. Okay. You, you guys decide whether do you guys want what PJ said or do you guys want pl- uh, basically lesser version of the boot? It's a 10-foot 10, 10 shove, and then greater version, it's a 20-foot shove. Well, that's see, that's just it. This shove action in the rules as written, mundanely, yeah. already offers a ten foot shove. Now, what we can say is, is that, but the ten foot shove is only on a crit. So what we can offer is that it's always a ten foot shove, to to creatures that are one size smaller than you. So it's always going to be ten, and then at the greater level, offer a thirty. How do you guys well, feel about that? Or how about we just split the difference, say the lesser version is 15 feet and then the greater version is double that at 30. I like that. I think that's great. It gives you something that makes it worth it beyond a normal shove and it stacks. Well, it grows. Yeah. Proportionally. Okay, let's do that. So after confirming a shove on said creature. yeah. yeah. Reap Psyche posted, I want to stack it with one inch punch. That would be breaking. That would definitely be breaking. That would be breaking. However, if that's your build, that could be really cool. I, I kind of want to build um, an item uh, that increases knockback. Granted, all three actions doing a knockback of 60 feet is ridiculous. Uh, we got Pengu Chan posting magical eat the baby. Eat the baby. Yep. Oh, boy. Uh, and Bearded Skull told us this a while ago, but now I'm curious. Uh, Bearded Skull, what did you mean when you said you keep saying Pixie? We know what you mean, PJ. Are you are you saying like I'm really calling Pixies babies? Like what's the what's the coding that you're suggesting there? Oh, uh, we also have Beamer S R Q posting launch properly. Create it now. Launch the launch property. You know what? Uh, yeah, when we cover magical weapons next week. Uh, we're going to be covering all the runes that you can use to make magical weapons and maybe even cover, if we have time, some some magical armor. Uh, I would love to see if they have a launch property rune because if they don't, I'd love to make one. That sounds like a yeah. lot of fun. Uh, we got Reef Psyche and uh, Wither King. Reef Psyche posted uh, Yeet Feet and Wither King posted Yeetus Maximus. <laughs> Yeetus Maximus. And kinda... Beatus, yeah. What kind of Harry Potter BS is that? Yeetus Maximus! And then this magical hand just throws them. Oh, I love it. I got Bearded Skull posting, uh, these boots are for babies. I have footage. (laughs) No, these boots are not for babies. Uh, And if you you rewind the tape, you'll see I did not perjure myself. Uh, yeah. That. But yeah, I I like, uh, yeah, I think 15 and tw- 15 at uh, lesser and then 30 at greater that's a good compromise and at, gr- mm-hmm. at greater i would say uh you get a plus it be- that's when it becomes maybe a uh, plus three to athletics <laughs> yeah i think that's a good balance um but it was i would say this item would have to be like a level at least a level 15 item I don't know about 15. That's almost apex level. For a plus three, I think maybe more like level eight. That's a good time to have a plus three bonus. Split the difference eight. to say level 10? Uh, no, I still feel like that's way too high yeah. for something like this. Because like, once you're getting to level 10, you're getting really impressive armor. And I know this is a joke, but I just I feel like that's kind of a... Yeah, but uh, from a playtester's point of view... Mm-hmm. Shove is actually a really powerful, useful ability, especially if you're yes. on a ledge. Yes, but consider this is being done to targeted creatures already one size small. This is not being confirmed to everyone. This is only being confirmed to goblins, pixies, and the like. That's yeah, true. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, and, level eight. And, yeah, level eight. And babies. Uh, <laughs> Stop saying that, PJ. I will say it forever and then immediately regret it because I love babies. I just, I just want them 15 to 30 feet away from me. <laughs> you know it's a bad idea when I become the voice of reason. Oh, God. I love it. I love it. Uh, okay, so on a fail, they... Oh, Bearded Skull. Mm-hmm. The only way this holds up in court is if you could get Rufa to defend you. Yes. 
if I have to go to court, I will ask Rufa to show up and be like, Rufa, show him your coupons. This will be, this is a case between South Park versus morals and decency. <laughs> uh, let's see, this does not require having any hands free. Okay. But yeah, but this does have I think the very super important takeaway is this has to be against this only works against creatures one size smaller than you. Yeah, like in that and that's kind of something I've been I've been really reiterating is that these are specifically for a creature one size or or lesser than yours. Because we started off talking about kicking babies, and then we're like, no, 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 that's wrong, that's gross, so let's kick goblins and pixies instead. And that actually makes sense, because they have all these benefits for being so small. This magical item can actually kind of help you crowd control being swamped by kobolds. Oh, uh, we got Beam S Beamer SRQ saying, so more like boots of baby repelling. <laughs> yes, by my... By my foot repel, kick. By my foot repel, kick. I have a feeling this is going to become at the table's most viewed video. Hey, I'm down for that. And listen, listen. I, I'm a sellout. I really am. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cheap, sleazy prostitute. So if you're like, hey, PJ, that was hilarious. Give us more baby kicking. I'm like, you know what? How dare you? I'll you know double what? the baby kicking. If double you're it. a prostitute, then I'm your... I'm your really? lawyer. Re oh, oh, actually, no, I gotta need that. It's not decriminalized yet. I will need that. Uh, okay, so... Um, oh, we got Penguin Witch Doctor saying, what about if you give the target a wedgie or wit willy? You could get an extra plus one. Oh, my God. You know, I, mm, I, love, I love that idea of, like, actually being a bully gives you benefits. Oh, man, we, we need to make an, uh, the bully archetype now. At some point, I'm pretty sure they have that as like a rogue based archetype, like a like a thug or yeah, um, yeah, thug. So it'd be basically like ruffian, that. ruffian. I think that's what it's called. I think so. Yeah, that's basically what this is. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, we got Wither King posting. Uh, goblins have a ancestry feat that replaces damage for distance. Actually, yeah. Uh, bouncy, bouncy body. Yeah. I think so. They mm -hmm. take less fall damage. Um, from being dropped to greater heights because oh, their bodies Pengu basically Chan just posted up. repel yeet. Oh Jesus! I, I oh sweet baby. Oh God! I just I just thought of how this could actually this item, the ability could be a positive tactical thing. Okay, <laughs> so this is the item that I will be regret regrettably adding into the universe. Re really quick, of, PJ. PJ. Yeah, really quick. What? This could actually be tactically a useful ability. Yeah, I heard you. You kick a teammate oh. a certain distance to yeah. place them in combat. It's a maneuver tactic. I like that, yeah. it's Now, granted, you have to have a um, someone in the team who's a size Woodward. Or Mush. But I don't want to kick either Woodward or Mush. <laughs> yeah, that's just it. You don't want those guys going to the front line. I mean, maybe, maybe Mush. That, that would be big. also a reason for them to pick up also the cat fall feet. Because I'm trying to think. Um, dwarves are considered um, medium creatures, right? Yeah. Oh, so Reef Psyche just posted this perfect idea. This is essentially the fastball special to boot. <laughs> and I love it. In the chat saying, <laughs> I volunteer. So when you get this item, Woodward is down for the booting. Speaking of which, let me read to you. The item that's now joining the universe of Edge of Legend. The Bully Boots, item level three. This is the flavor text. Just because they're little doesn't mean you go easy on them. Invented by goblins to punish and shoo away pixies. The great irony being that when larger enemies use these against goblins for the same reasons. They're annoying and they must go over there. These brown leather boots with heavy reinforced soles, when worn, will grant the user a plus one fortune bonus to athletic checks made to shove and a plus one to hit a target creature one size smaller or more i might have to reword that language a bit to make sure that both of those are being applied to one one size smaller creature or more uh, anyway after confirming a shove on said creature that creature must confirm a fortitude save against your class dc on a fail they are instead shoved 15 feet 
This does not require having any open hands to use. And then the greater bully boots item, I'm saying level eight for now, we can make level 10 later, but I feel like level 10 is a little too high for this item. But the greater bully boots, athletics becomes a plus three to, to shove, and the shove distance now doubles to 30 feet. So look out in Edge of Legends for an angry person just football punting these goblins all over the place. And goblins are all over the place, so this would make actually a Oh lot of god, sense. I just thought of another tactical ability you could do. Mm -hmm. Tie a rope around a small ally and kick him upwards as a living grappling hook. Mmm. I love that. And then you just keep kicking him 30 feet and they grab a hold of another part. Uh, Penguin Witch Doctor made a really good point. Uh, we should say that they cannot magically expand to fit a large or larger creature. You know, I'm adding that because I think that's important. Because but the, but at the, the so the biggest that can be worn is a medium sized creature. Yeah. Um, I'm putting an asterisk there. And yes, re Psyche, grappling gnome. All right. So. This item cannot be wielded by a large or larger sized creature. And we have a bearded skull going, wait, Izuo's daughter is a medium human? Izuo's daughter is a medium sized human. Marinde Logorunun. I think so. Hmm. Well, she's about 12, 13 years old. She's probably about, I'm going to say, oh, what's the average height of a 12 year old, 13 year old girl? Like four. Nine, They're a, a bit taller than a halfling. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say she'd be at the bottom level of a medium-sized creature. Yeah. I, don't think and, you, I don't think you can punch her. Yeah. And also, uh, Reef Psyche posted, what if a medium-sized creature gets larger while wearing them? And Wither King posted, magic items already change size to fit the wearer, FYI. That is true. Um, a lot of magic items do change size to fit the wearer. However, I do... Hmm... Hmm. Because then if someone casts, like, you know, in large size on you, then these items become useless. Hmm. You know what? I F think a turning on the large size, that's a tactical ability. That's yeah. a ta tactics. Yeah, it that's is. A strategic... it, it's, it's, a, it's already a boon. You're already getting bonuses to damage and hit because you're yeah, larger. Yeah, it's not like you can you bust really out this. of the boots when you magically get bigger. Because the magic actually just change the size it's not like you hulk out of your clothes yeah so what i think what i think is like when you get larger the boots don't work but you but they will still stretch to fit you it's not like you're gonna break them um but i will say that they're mostly designed by goblins to kick fairies and then they were given to humans to kick goblins so i like that kind of story yeah uh it's, it's not I, like you, you like what uh, a Goliath would have these boots because oh sweet baby oh god a Goliath giving a Goliath these boots would be just uh, well technically I don't think Goliaths are in Pathfinder but if they were by rules as written Goliaths still count as medium sized creatures but oh, true. if it was a hill giant which is actually yeah. I think a large to huge size depending on the hill giant that well they don't even need that what so I feel like that's kind of the balancing mechanic here if yeah. someone enlarges you you don't need this benefit. Granted, yeah, yeah still, they're still harder to hit because they're smaller than you, but you're massive. You have so much but reach I, I mean, and at bonus that point, damage. Yeah, at that point, you're just getting the bonus to athletics. Yeah. Penguin Witch Doctor, or Penguin Witch Doctor, is saying, actually, in large size, is the one that changes the size of the items. But what if the Titan wants to play Kick the House? Well, that's just it, Wither King. If the Titan wants to play Kick the House, they're just going to kick the house. Yeah. Um... And Titans do not exist in Pathfinder either. Aw, oh, sad. But they can exist in Edge of Legend. They can, very easily. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, once again, today we have invented the Bully Boots. Item level three and eight, respectively. Uh, basically, it's an item so that human beings can have a better time punting goblins and sidekicking pixies. And, and it's so hard already because they're so hard to to get their your hands on because they're they're so fast and lithe yeah. and I, I'm glad that we 
we've stated this, it's now, it's, uh, it's a boot for kicking goblins and pixies. That way it makes my job of creating the thumbnail for this video a lot <laughs> less stressful. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm just imagining, like, the thumbnail being our headshots and then just a baby getting booted. And it's like, eh, and it's dumb. And it's so dumb. Uh, but on that note, it's about time to call it. Uh, thank you so much, chat, for helping us invent the bully boots. Look forward to them in Edge of Legends Wednesday, Edge of Legend, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. May not happen right away, but oh, I cannot wait to unleash this terrible, terrible thing into the world. Uh, join us next time where we talk about magical weapons, the runes, of course, to make them with. And then after we're done talking about that, we'll sit down at the table with you, the chat, and we'll make our own runes or maybe even our own magical weapons that may appear in Edge of Legend. Uh, until then, uh, Mr. Michael Powell, please tell them who you are and where they can find you on that sweet, sweet internet. Well, I'm Michael Powell, and I do not advocate kicking babies. And you can find me on uh, my social medias, which is at Mr. Kapow. That's M-R-K-A-P-A-O. That's Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. Uh, you can also check out my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Michael Powell does stuff because I do a lot of stuff, such as my YouTube channel, which is Fantastic Tales of Adventure. We're, it's pretty much almost at this point a new video almost every other day. And also on Thursdays, I will be on, what is it, uh, on Twitch at the Toyzilla Network channel where we talk about toys and nostalgia, and I believe near the end of this month, uh, Saturday, we will be doing an interview with a certain My Hero Academia voice actor. So, really, really cool. Here's a hint. This character, the, vo the character she voices, she likes to uh, lick blood. Oh! And what about you, PJ? Oh, you're talking to her? Awesome. Okay, so I'm pulling double duty today. But before we go into that, my name is PJ McGall. You can find me everywhere at PJ.McGall. When I'm out here Tuesdays, I'm here Wednesdays for Edge of Legend, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Watch us as we get right back into the Green War. The Halloween one-shots were amazing, terrifying, suspensing, suspenseful, and exhausting. And now we're getting back into World War, World War Orc. Cause, Cause, that's what you do. Watch as the heroes now go on their journey as the tip of the spear, exploring some places south of the Adelphon Empire in an attempt to learn more about the army and attack them head on. Now, I'm doing double duty today. I got about an hour, hour and a half to eat, eat food and eat it now and taste it later. Cause I'm going to uh, life action role play tonight to bring back a game we did during IndieCon, which was the all-online worldwide gaming convention that I did with them a little while ago. We're coming back with a game called Honey and Hot Wax, the kind of sexy, fun, role-play party game where you kind of take different scenarios, get a little flirty, open about your life, and have a great time all in all. We're going to be playing this sleepover, a bunch of high school kids kind of sitting down, talking about what sex and identity really means. So if you want to check that out, come see me play an awkward teen instead of an awkward adult at Life Action Role Play tonight at 8 Pacific Standard Time. Um, and that being said, uh, if you like the CCRIT or the Secret Show on Life Action Role Play on Friday, we're going to be going on hiatus for a few weeks as we kind of rewrite the next uh, series of stories and maybe even plan some fun one-shots. So uh, apologies. Look forward to Secret coming back in a few weeks. And so then, my name is PJ McGaw. Uh, this has been At the Table. Look forward to seeing you again for Magic Weapons. And uh, we'll see you same nat time, same nat channel here at the table. Be safe, everyone. Bye, guys. And no more baby kicking. No more baby kicking. Oh, no. my God.